Hi, this is Jim Myrick with the Myrick and Young team, and today is July 5th, uh, 2012. We're going to wrap up last month, in 2000, June of 2012. Hope everyone had a great Independence Day. It was quite the show in Santa Clara County uh, last night. They had uh, a lot of public fireworks all the way from North San Jose all the way down to Gilroy. And if you could not see the fireworks, then you weren't looking because there was a lot of them going on. So. Um, but anyway, right now what's going on in, in, in um, the market is, is that we have about a standing inventory right now of about 1,254 single family houses on the market. I want to stop reporting on a lot of the foreclosures and short sales, what percentage of that is, because it continues to drop. Foreclosures make up less than 4% of all the houses currently on the market, and short sales are going down to about 13%. Okay, so there's not a, there's not a lot. I mean, that used to be 70% of our market, and obviously that trend is going away. So let's, talk, let's start concentrating on things that are, are, are uh, really affecting your buying decisions. So the number one thing is that we're, we're, we're an interesting uh, month last month because we actually listed 1,286 homes and we closed 1,496. I don't know about you, but uh, you know I'm, I'm not a math major or anything, but if we list less homes than we close, where's our inventory going? Down, 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 okay? So that's when, when the inventory and the supply goes down, Economics 101, prices go up, and that's exactly what has happened. We're at $715,000 for our average price range. It has not been this high since October of 2007. Okay, so you're starting to see that trend that, that's uh, going up and up and up and, uh, and starting to, to really uh, strengthen up. You're starting to see the things over a million dollars are a little bit more conservative, okay? However, the ones, if you're about anywhere from three to $600,000, it's, it's, it's usually a little bit more of a competitive market. However, there is another trend that's going on, is that you're finding people that were getting very frustrated in the last three months that were not getting homes. They kind of pulled back a little bit and said, hey, listen, I'm gonna re-engage here. So you know what? I think this is the time to re-engage because now instead of seeing 20, 30 offers on a piece of property, which we were getting a lot of that about a month, a month and a half ago, now you're seeing two or three. Okay, so now you can start competing a little bit better for these, for these properties. So as a lot of people are asking them, why is Silicon Valley doing so well as in regards to the market and a lot of the outer line areas aren't getting the same effect that we are? Well, you know what? When, when the beginning of a recovery in any market, it starts with starting with the most desirable areas. And you know what? A lot of us, we, I think we get spoiled, but we don't realize how wonderful a place that we live here. With an average low of 55 degrees and an average high of 75 degrees, and to be next to the most educated workforce in the entire world, that is an opportunity that people would just kill for, okay? And what's, what's happening now is inside our, our, our valley, a lot of people are coming in and the talent's here and they wanna be here because of the opportunities and you know, the weather and our location. So what's gonna happen is later on, that's gonna start spilling over into other outlying areas, but it starts here. And that's what's going on, and, and you're seeing more and more of that. So if you, if you have any questions on what's going on in the market, you want to see specifically in your area how things are, are, are shaping up, give us a call at the Myrick and Young team at our, the below phone number, and we'll be glad to help you with any questions that you might have.